Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Udoka. Welcome back to my channel where I basically talk about whatever's on my mind and my journey to better mental health. I wanted to give an update because I just found out about um, a treatment clinic for mental health called Amen Clinics. There are nine locations and a location is going to be opening up in January um, in the DFW Dallas, Texas area. Uh, I found out about it through Shailene Johnson. If you don't know who she is, she's a social media guru type person. And I personally, I admire her for just her energy. She's just like endless boundless energy she's 50 something years old she looks amazing and so i i just kind of look up to her for that and she was on live and i noticed she'd been posting a lot of stuff about add lately and i'm like did she just figure out that she has add or something like or is it just trendy now or what and so on her live she talks about how she went to the amen clinic because somebody uh recommended that she go and uh, she was diagnosed with ADD and she did the brain scan and she was just singing the praises of this amen clinic she said that Miley Cyrus and Justin Bieber uh, also do treatment via that clinic which I'm like yeah I remember there was a time that both Justin and Miley were really wilding out like are you okay type of wilding out so obviously seems to have worked for them let me check it out so looked into it i'm still doing research about it but i did sign up for um like give me a, a phone call so i can get more information and here's what i found so i know the whole premise of amen clinic is that psychiatrists are the only medical doctors that don't actually look at the organ that they're treating i'm like yeah yeah i feel that i feel that so part of the treatment the first thing that you do in the treatment is you go and get some brain scan and this brain scan just basically measures how much activity is going on in your mind and how much blood flow is going to certain parts of your brain they uh, um take a scan of your brain while you're concentrating on something and then they take a, a scan of your brain relaxed a lot of people with add what they'll find is that those two brain scans look the same like your brain relaxed looks the same as if you're concentrating which is not a good thing but anyway they do those two scans then um and the location that's opening in dallas they're only open for scans like i think they'll, they'll be open an hour or two per day just for people to come in and do scans due to the pandemic and then you'll have a zoom FaceTime, whatever, with a historian, a, cl a clinical historian. And what that means is they're going to take your medical history. So uh, does anybody in your family have this? How long have you been having this? What medications have you taken? What were the side effects? Um, any surgeries that you've had? Any trauma that you've had? Things like that. And they get all that information. Um and then you'll have a zoom meeting with a physician like an actual md psychiatrist uh they'll go over your scans they'll go over your history and then they will make a treatment plan which for some people involves medication some people involves uh supplements certain supplements um and then you know you have two follow-up sessions with the doctor and two follow-up sessions with um, a therapist so that is how that works the cost so I was like I need to know the cats let's get down to the business let's get down to the dollars the numbers how much does cost she said you need a you need to pay five hundred dollar deposit and then you pay the rest when you go in for your scan so i'm like okay how much is the rest 
Well, total, the treatment total is basically $4,500. No payment plans either. So, once again, this mental health stuff really only accessible to those who have money like that. It's not covered by insurance. You know what I'm saying? All that. All the stuff that we're used to. And what's crazy to me is, is like people with mental health issues don't make money like that. Like, I don't know. I'm just waiting for the day somebody, whether it's a public service institution, the government, or some rich person who wants to donate to a cause. But I'm just waiting for the day that they kind of realize that if somebody is really suffering mental health issues, they probably can't afford the treatment. So we're just continuing to let people be messed up in the head. I don't know. Like, it would be cool if somebody gave scholarships or I don't know if you know, every now and then, they gift somebody the treatment. But I just wanted to share that because I want to figure out how to get this treatment. But first, I'm figuring out how to get my hands on IV ketamine treatment. I still have my GoFundMe. I'll put it in the link, in the link below, in the description. Uh, below oh I could try to lock up this can you open up one of the windows a little or undo the child lock okay so um so I wanted to give that update in case somebody out there wants to look more into it thanks for watching I'll post again sometime soon. With that, much love, much luck. Peace out.